Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. My name is Creepers and I'm here today with a new video for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about of all of the upcoming changes, skins, and packs that are coming into Paladins and OV70. I was seeing the stream of the update OV70 coming into Paladins, and so I gathered most of the best information that you guys are probably wanting to know by now. And we can we're gonna start right off with the easiest, but the one that a lot of people have been asking for already, which is the battle pass. The battle pass, apparently, there's going to be three battle passes, at least for this year. Um, and the first one is going to be sort of a sci-fi theme, where you're going to have, like, Star Wars kind of things, um, you know, neon skins, and so on. And there's going to be two ways to go through the battle pass. Just like in Fortnite, you're going to have the free pass, and you're going to be having the pay pass. Through the free pass, you're going to get some rewards, as it's obvious. But with the pay pass, you're going to have a lot more and exclusive rewards. And not just that. Apparently, for what they are saying, uh, you can just now buy right now immediately the first battle pass, which is the first one that is going to be ending on. Uh, towards the end of July, it ends. And you can pay you know, for the battle pass by buying it with 500 crystals this is actually pretty good which means that if you keep your crystals you can use them in this and not just that if you use the crystals in this you're going to have the chance to have 100 crystals refounded the way that you're going to have to get these crystals back is by leveling up through the battle pass and getting the rewards back pretty much like fortnite again because fortnite does have v bucks hidden inside of the tiers if you pay for the battle pass tier you get some things back not to mention there's a ton of new skins that are gonna be there like for example the mecha prowler mount it's a limited legendary mount and it has its own unique voices this is the first time you're gonna be seeing a mount of this one of this magnitude and it's limited and apparently for what i could understand you can only win this by paying by having the pay battle pass not the free battle pass i'm probably going to be putting some voice lines right now on the game on the video itself so you guys can hear it you're probably going to be hearing the vod the, the casters from the stream so ignore just that and listen to the voice lines and i'll talk to you guys in just a second engage no <laughs> My power packs could use a rest. <laughs> Battle mode active. Was that Rider him purring? Or something? That was a digital purr. Okay. Rider detected. Activate mount sequence. Why don't you attach that to my electronic pulse projector? Ooh. Purr. <laughs> yeah, no, it now, as for the second skin, we're gonna have the Robo Force Ruckus. Now, I already knew that this skin was coming out. They teased a little piece of its armor, of its arm, saying R, a big R, and I immediately connected this to Ruckus. I don't know why, I don't know, I mean, technically speaking, which other character has the name started by R and the game itself, exactly. And the game, the, the skin itself, it's based on the 90s, the retro gaming machines that you guys probably can remember or if you don't remember you can search it out on on youtube google and so on there were these little machines where we have a, a joystick and two or three buttons and the retro gamings of the 90s were there and it was really awesome and you can see the animations the retro animations when he actually pops up one of his uh one of his abilities i was handpicked as pilot thanks to my peerless skills and because he was the only one who fit no need to panic. We're here to save the day. Combat initiating. Engaging defensive doohickey. <laughs> your breath seems worse than your attitude. You know, this cockpit has room for two. Now for the next skin, we're going to have Exarch Genos. And I already knew about this skin too, because apparently this was data mined a few time ago on Poland. 
I'm not entirely sure. I just know that I'm going to be leaving a link in the description to his voice lines on the wiki that apparently were already there. They were data mining and even the picture of him. And But it looks really cool. It's, you know, it's in the same theme, the sky sci-fi team, and also still related to stars and so on. But it's more like planetary this time, instead of just stars and constellations. The laws of space are mine to bend. I like this planet. I think I'll add it to the collection. Like most life forms, your existence is pointless. You're annoying me. I will burn you with the heat of a thousand suns. You should really take better care of your moon. It's falling to pieces. Stars may die, but I will always remain. For the next skin, everybody already knew that uh, this skin existed. But unfortunately, for what I could understand, this skin never actually entered the game. It's the Neon Demon Grok. And... And as you can see, it has some sort of pulse electricity inside of the vessels that you can see, the blue lights and so on. And this skin apparently already existed before, but it was removed or didn't even enter the game because it was on the system that we're using of skins right now, which is the One Piece system. And they wanted to divide the skins back then. That's, that's when all of the, the different kind of customization started. And so they had to remove it. But now they brought it back. They just polished it a little bit. And it's beautiful. And it's coming back. It has its own voice pack. And I'm going to let you guys listen to it, to it just in a few seconds. Come on. Come on. How do I look? Hey, pull my finger. Shot therapy for everyone! We will, we will grok you! <laughs> Damn. We will, we will grok you! Oh, yes, darkness, my old friend. Oh, man. I am a stampeding tortoise! My gosh. <laughs> oh, we weren't done. We had to, we had to get the re we in there. had to do the... <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now, also a new thing that apparently you're going to be able to win. I'm not entirely sure if you can win this on the Battle Pass. Apparently it is in the Battle Pass. It's the Dead Stamp Gravestone. Um, it's sort of an emote. When you kill somebody, what's going to happen is it's going to be popping up a little rip r.i.p you know rest in peace stone in the ground a tombstone a small one you know just a funny one and um you're uh, for what i can understand you're gonna, gonna win this on the battle pass and it's gonna be incredibly beautiful to have to be honest there's also gonna be a changing to the sprays for those who are wondering what's gonna happen to the sprays of the cars the sprays that we had so far but then they stopped and we couldn't have them anymore what's gonna happen Basically, what's going to happen is they will disappear completely. They're going to be taking all of the sprays out, except for the ones you already own. So technically speaking, better players, the players who have been in this game so far, before this enters into the official, um, you know, the official game itself, or even OB70 to be pr more precise, um, we're going to be keeping our sprays, the ones we already have, and it's going to be exclusive to us, technically speaking. And people who enter the game after, you know, in the future, are not going to be able to win this, these sprays ever at any time whatsoever. So basically, they're exclusive to beta players only and only the ones that you already own. Now... As for the Founders Pack, a lot of people have been asking me this and finally I have an answer. The Founders Pack is still going to be coming back, but it's going to be different. It's no longer going to be having the Fire Horse or the Ares skin for Fernando. It's going to be strictly champions. The thing is, they did not bring up the, the voice pack situation, so I'm not entirely sure if you're still going to be able to have the, all of the voice packs for all of the champions. Uh, I know that it's going to be costing $30, not entirely sure if they raise it the price or if it's already different when it comes to dollars, but basically it's going to be called Champions Pack now instead of, you know, Founders Pack. And bringing back a little bit of the Battle Pass, you may also want to know that, as I said, there's going to be three different Battle Passes this three different seasons um, and this uh, year at least. And they created what it's called the Season Pass, which is going to be automatically giving you the battle pass for the three different seasons and 
you're going to be paying 1,500 crystals for it. Again, you can be, you're going to be able to use crystals for it. And instead of just 100 or even 300, but since it's three packs you're buying, you're going to have 500 crystals refounded by playing the levels. And that's actually pretty cool. But what they decided to create even further in this, another pack, which is basically the Champions Pack and the Season Pack all together, which they call the Digital Deluxe. This is going to be costing a lot more. I don't think they actually mentioned the price, but we're going to be able to see this in the future. Also, just a little second, just a little heads up. Uh, the PDS is coming up probably this Friday or Saturday, and I'm going to be trying to stream it as soon as possible. And what happens is they said there's going to be some, you know, some hidden things in there, like skins and so on that we don't not do not know yet, and that they did not announce. So. We're gonna be having. We're gonna have to wait for the PDS for having the rest of the informations. But let's talk a little bit more of the things that they actually bring into this stream. And one of them is the Strike Maeve. Now I heard of this. I wasn't entri entirely sure if it was actually coming out or not. But apparently, a Strike Maeve is a very easy to get skin. Everybody's gonna be able to have it. All you need to do is register. You know, you just need to create an account on the Paladin Strike website and then link it to your high-res paladins account and what's going to happen is you're going to receive this skin and it's very very un unique but at the same time resembles the dream hack but in blue tones basically it's like uh you know a recolored to the dream hack skin i'm definitely going to get this skin i already have the dream hack but i'm definitely want to going to have this skin as soon as possible especially because i already have a paladin strike account now, there's also another skin coming out that is related to Paladin Strike, which is the Cover Ops Lex. A lot of people apparently know about this skin, and they said that it looks really nice, and they wanted skins like this to come into both places. And what's going to happen is this skin is actually going to be... You're going to be able to get the skin on both platforms, all both uh, the mobile and, you know, Paladins, I mean PC, Xbox, and PS4. And you're going to be able to get it by basically... Uh, playing Paladin Strike, after you linked it, of course, uh, playing Paladin Strike and collecting rewards inside of the game. So basically that's going to be easy to get. Actually, you get it, you're going to be getting it for both the Paladin's normal game and Paladin Strike, which is going to be really cool. So you guys get a, better get your cell phones ready to get that Paladin Strike. If you don't have a good cell phone for that, at least try to get like an Android sort of uh, emulator for the PC to try to play it there. I don't know. You guys try to decide how you want to do it, but definitely I'm also going to be getting this skin, especially because I don't have a Lex skin. That's kind of bad for me, but still. Um, another skin that is coming out, and this skin already a lot of people knew that it was coming out. It was voted by the community, and yes, you're talk we're talking about Androx's skin that it's going to be called Ants Huntsman Andro and this skin, I'm just gonna lay it right here. It's gonna be directly purchased and it's gonna be on 50% off immediately as soon as it comes out. Apparently, it's gonna be staying at 200 crystals, it has a unique animations, uh, projectile animations, voice pack, and so on. And it's exactly what people wanted. It's beautiful, it's related to the other skin that was created for Cassie. Uh, and it's going to be sort of like a werewolf um, team. You're, you're going to be seeing his arm is going to have sort of like a wolf, a werewolf uh, skin to it. Another hunt begins. They say not to bite off more than you can chew. I haven't had that problem yet. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll fill you with lead. All I see around me are sheep ready to be taken. Impossible. None have escaped since those three pigs. Did someone cry wolf? So that was the voice pack for Huntsman Andro. Now, for another thing that has been mentioned again, they asked to people on, you know, the, the community, which champion do they want it to be reworked now since Brock was reworked it. Um, basically, they decided to rework Victor. They even did a little small little clip where you see the parts where Victor usually dies. And then it shows up him appearing with his new appearance. And to be pretty honest, I like it. But at the same time, it doesn't look like Victor anymore because it looks so much younger. A different suit, uh, a different structure to the body itself. I'm not saying it's not good, but it's, it's definitely good. I I 
definitely enjoyed it, and especially because it has a unique new uh, grenade itself, uh, animations for it, and so on. Even the weapon has been completely reworked. Maybe this is what people were, you know, thinking that was going to happen when we saw it on the PDS having different weird skins. Maybe they were already trying to, you know, try to create it. And so it's coming out on OB70 Victor Reborn, ladies and gentlemen. And right now you've probably seen the picture on screen and it looks really dope. I enjoyed it myself. And now for the final information that you guys probably want to know. The booster weapons, ladies and gentlemen. Remember the gold weapons that we had with... It was temporary for three days. You would have like, um, you know, the, the gold boost, the champion experience boost, the account boost. Well, technically, they said they want to remove all boosts, and the only boost that you would have was related to the battle pass. And so they decided to still keep the gold weapons, and the way to actually get them, I was actually pretty happy because it was actually an idea that I had for it, and they actually did it, and I'm so really happy about it. Basically, you're only going to have to get to level 50 with a character in order to unlock it, this as a mastery reward. And then it's permanent, guys. It's completely permanent, and you can buy it with gold. It's amazing. I'm definitely going to be having my gold knives for Maeve since I'm already level 50 with Maeve, and it's going to be looking sick, especially... The animations, you know, that's that's mainly the thing I like about her skins is the animations and when people die. And also the star, you know, the, the, the Shatter Star and uh, Shatter Ma, the animations, the green animations, they look really, really nice. And finally, we're going to have this here. Who knows? Maybe they're still going to be creating the rest of the, the skins for the weapons um, based on the Shatter, the green Shatter uh, crystals. I know that they have been developing the weapon for Ying, so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to be called. I don't have the picture right here, unfortunately. I know that it exists. I've seen it, and probably it's going to be the next Shatter weapon coming out. But yeah, guys, basically the VIP story is now going to go away. I would recommend waste all of your VIP points, but don't waste crystals in order to get more VIP points because here's the following. Most of the skins on that VIP store, you're going to be able to get them through chests, which you can get in the battle pass. So if you try to waste crystals to switch with VIP points, you're just going to be wasting your crystals on it. And technically speaking, I'm not going to be wasting any crystals on the VIP store anymore. I'm just going to get whatever I can, and that's about it. And I'm going to be keeping my crystals so I can try to buy the season pass. And you guys should do the same thing too. Now, I'm not going to be talking about the bug fixes because they are going to be putting um, a full post with it. And then I'm going to be going through it, and then I'm going to do... Uh, a, you know, a separated video with all of these informations for you guys can, a, a short version of it, so to speak. You have that. Also, if you want a little bit more of information about the season pass, you can just go into the website, the paladins.com website, and search for the battle pass little, you know, subsection. I'm also going to be trying to leave that link in the description if you guys want to go there and check it out. Um, there's not, not much there. Basically, they're just going to be saying to you guys what I already said in this video. And basically, I just want to thank everybody who has been watching the video so far. If you've seen the videos this far, thank you so much. Um, it helps a lot to the channel. And also, I'm helping you guys with the short version of OB70 coming out. Get ready, because I'm also going to be streaming this on the PDS. You probably want to see that, you know, live gameplay footage of the skins. Probably I'm not going to be able to play it on Friday, especially because usually when it comes down on Friday, it's really, really late back here in Portugal. So Saturday, Saturday, definitely I'm going to be playing it on a PDS. You guys probably want to join or you want to see it. Um, I'm going to be trying to also record gameplays with the new skins, all of them, and then put a separated gameplays with these skins for you guys to see next week. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, if this video was actually very informative for you, um, don't forget to leave a like and go down in the comments and tell me what you thought about these changes, if you agreed with most of them or not. Um, and also, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my future content. And also, if you don't want to miss my streams, because you're going to be receiving some notifications for the streams. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye, guys. Have a wonderful day. 
and I hope um, you guys enjoyed the video. Bye-bye, guys.